Hey, so I have a water heater that is a, certain, a few years old. I don't want to replace the entire thing right now, but recently during a shower or uh, you know, in use, we would notice that the hot water didn't last very long. I believe this is a 50 gallon tank. And what was happening is the cold water intake right here was putting cold water directly into the top of the tank instead of like it's supposed to down into the bottom of the tank. So as you get cold water into the top of the tank, the hot water also comes out of the top of the tank. So the two were mixing and we'd have a lukewarm water in a, in a matter of minutes. So here's what happened. The, the part that is the cold water intake should have a tube attached to it, a down tube that goes all the way down to the bottom of the water heater so that it feeds the cold water down to the bottom of the water heater. That broke off. And unfortunately, I don't think I can, I'm sure I can't get it back out of the tank at this time. But what I'm going to do is I've flushed the water tank a few times. Um, I'm now actually doing descaling it using three gallons of, of vinegar sitting in the tank for at least six hours. And then I'm going to rinse and flush it out and get everything flushed out as best I can. But what I found was Home Depot and Lowe's and even Ace Hardware did not have anything that I needed to replace the down tube and this little in inlet. And so I bought a new inlet for $5 at Home Depot. And then I bought a piece of PEX tubing that actually happens to fit right on the inlet, right in there uh, quite well. And then what I'm gonna try and do is heat up this PEX tube and flare it on the top. And then I'm gonna put the whole thing back in there and uh, hopefully that assembly works. So at least gets me by for, for a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is just heat. I got a little pipe flare. It's, this is actually not meant for this type of pipe, didn't necessarily. But I'm going to heat up the end of this. And once I have it heated up, I'm going to take the flare tool itself. This tool right here. And this tool right here is going to actually clip on to this assembly. And then when I screw that tool in there, you can see that it'll make a flare. So we'll do that. And then I'll show you the assembly. So what I did is I heated up that little piece of PEX tubing sticking out of the top. I put this assembly in there. I screwed it all the way down. And I ended up with what looks like a pretty decent little flare. And so now I'm going to try and see how this fits on my, uh, on my inlet. So this is what this looks like. This uh, inlet now has the uh, flare on there. What I'm gonna do is this pipe is too long, so I'm going to cut it so that it goes about three quarters of the way down the tank, and that's where I want my cold water to be coming into that tank, mixing with the hot water, so I get uh, a uh, hot water that lasts a lot longer. All right, so let me show you this. Um, the plumber's tape, they like to put it on there clockwise, uh, so you, and you skip the first thread or two with, pl with the plumber's tape as you're putting it on just so you get a nice, uh, you don't get it cross-threaded. Then just wrap it around a couple, three, three and a half times maybe. So you get a nice bit of PVC coming into the, uh, to water, to seal it for water. So I'm gonna go around again on this one on the bottom half. a Couple of times. And then we'll go ahead and put it in. Actually, before I put it in, I'm going to uh, trim this. So I'll show you what that looks like. I've got a, a tool for this. You can use whatever you want. But I'm just gonna measure it up against the side of the water heater. About that deep. I want water to be coming in, you know, right around in here. So I don't have the existing tube, so I don't know how deep that goes, but I'm gonna just stop this one about right here. And uh, this little tool is pretty handy. Um, it's a little cutter tool. You gotta open it all the way. Let me remeasure that one more time. Just kind of put my hand where it goes. I'm gonna go right about to there. I'm gonna trim that. and then we'll fit that right in so it'll kind of go 
I've got copper pipes, so be really careful if you've got copper pipes. It's possible you might have to actually cut your pipes and re-sweat them. I don't want to do that. So I'll just make sure I get it really straight here. Kind of test it, make sure I get it seated right. And that's... And then once I get it in there, I'm gonna finish the rest of the assembly. So I'll show you that. So I just wanted to show this really quick. I'm being really careful not to damage the threads. Um, and I'm holding everything out of the way. Do not over tighten. You definitely don't wanna over tighten this. That pipe, that thread tape, or maybe even also a little thread or pipe dope helps. If you ever have to take it apart again, it helps keeping it keep it from seizing up as well. So just kind of working that. And I have one more little piece to put on there, and I can connect this again, and we'll give it a try. This is just an adapter piece I've got to put on there, and that goes right in. Again, I just used use that thread tape and uh, let's see let's screw that on keep this out of the way trying to hard to preserve the threads Again, not over tightening, but we want a good waterproof seal. Once I see that it's turning that bottom nipple, I know I'm the same tightness. And we gotta get this piece lined up and connected. Starting by reversing th threads, and then I will pull. see that's got a nice rubber seal. I want to center that. There we go. And then this type of connection, if you have this type of connection, you don't have to be much more than hand tight. So we got it on there. Everything appears to be watertight. I'm not seeing any drips. Uh, I'm seeing uh, that it, it is, when I run the water out of the bottom, you can see I have a hose hooked up to the bottom there. When I run the water out of the bottom, it is still hot, but it is not scalding, scalding hot, which tells me the cold water is getting down to the very bottom where it should be. The, uh, yeah, so I think this is it. So what I'm gonna do is drain the tank one more time just because I am in the process of flushing it out and then I'm going to fill it up. Thanks for, thanks for joining me, and if you're doing a project like this, good luck. Bye-bye.